Okay, boys and girls, in this uh, series of videos, we're going to be focusing on um, the exam from January 2018. So, uh, if you're watching this this year, uh, it was just a few months ago. Um, now, in these series, uh, or this set of videos, I'm going to go on a slightly quicker pace purely because, well, I'm assuming you will have seen the other video tutorials. So, um, just to speed things up, um, I'm not going to go into as much detail as I have been in the previous videos. Now, if you are unsure of some of the things that I talk about, then I would suggest you look at the other um, tutorials before looking at this one, just so you're comfortable and you're aware of some of the basic features and tools that you need to be familiar with for these exams. Right, so... Let's familiar yourselves, uh, ourselves with um, the actual client brief itself. Now, this one here is about a company called Create Mag. It's a new online magazine for students for of creating uh, creative computing. The magazine is a place to learn new techniques, showcase pr practical work, and read about developments and careers in the creative industries. Create Mag wants you to produce a website to promote the magazine to young people aged between 14 and 19 who study or are interested in creative computing. The basis for the content and information for the website can be found in the assets folder, um, which we'll talk about in a moment. Let's uh, understand how many pages. So from here, it tells you here, you have to do five pages. From here, you can see that there are one, two, three adult pages and two children pages or child pages. The home page, features page, uh, which leads to the web design page and the design trends page and the about page. Uh, the page width needs to be 1366 pixels. We're allowed to have scrolling scrolling in this one. The house style must include certain or specific colors here. It tells you, you need to have uh, this one here and this one. But it's also saying here that in brackets that other colors should be, not could be, should be. So they're expecting another color, at least a third or a fourth one, uh, use part of the overall color scheme as well. The facts about the company will be in the info file, as always. Images are in the assets folder. Accessibility features should always be uh, in the back of your mind whenever, and whenever you insert anything into uh, Dreamweaver for your website. And there needs to be consistency across the web design uh, website itself. So before we go any further, I just want to make sure that you understand the first thing we need to do. Now, some, some of my students always make this mistake um, and not organize their folders first. And, you know, in the previous video, I introduced this uh, this acronym, uh, a very strange and, and, and yet memorable uh, uh, phrase. If you remember it, you'll basically, you know, hopefully design a very simple website that should give you the majority of the max. So, what baby pats a lemur? And if you look at this here, if you don't, uh, if you've never seen this before, just pause it here just to understand it. But the basis of this is uh, very simply the order that you would follow to create a successful, simple website. That's not to say that you can't get full marks if you follow this. Of course you can. Uh, but if you remember this, then you know whether you're struggling or not. If you if you follow this the structure, then you should be uh, you know halfway there. So we have got the first uh, letter, the W, the three who, what, and why uh, from reading the client brief. We now need to organize a folder. Now, I've already gone ahead and done that. I've copied the assets folder uh, here. And if you haven't got that, if you're in uh, my class, then, uh, of course, it'll be in the shared area. If you're doing it online from home, uh, what you can do is use this link here. Just pause the video here um, and access this website um, and then basically download the assets folder. In the exam, you would be shown where it is in a shared area. Your teacher probably will tell you on the day of the exam. You just go there, copy the entire folder, and you know you can create the folders that you need here. So um, web pages, so you know everything uh, that you create into the template and the pages will go in here. And then you can have your images there. And we can keep it simple. You know, we can just leave it as that. But if you want to be really organized, you can go further and have your media in one and so on and so forth. But I'm going to keep it very simple just to save some time. Going for further, you can see that um, after organizing, we need to create the temple, uh, sorry, template and the table. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go here. Adobe's already opened. Go in and create new HTML. And you get a brand new page. If you don't see the ruler at the top and on the left hand side, go to view, go to rulers and click show. We're going to insert a table, uh, insert table. And I'm going to have four rows and I'm going to have, um, let's, let's go for three, three columns. 
Table width 1366, that will save me some time if I make sure this says pixels 1366, then as soon as it goes in, it should be the correct uh, size, uh, width at least. And you can put the thickness as, uh, as one for now, you can take that off later and I'll show you how. So there you go, you can see that goes all the way down to 1366 there. I'm going to just zoom out a little bit more, just so we can see it properly in the video, there we go. Uh, just want to make sure that actually, yep. I'm in the right display mode. Here we go. Right, so I'm going to drag this down a little bit. There we go. I'm going to have a space here at the top from banner, so I'm going to select it, right click, table, and merge. And then I'm going to drag this down, nice little space here. I can make this taller later if I want to, if I have to, that is. Um, I'm going to drag this up actually and drag this one down because this will be the main area of text and images in the media. And these are where the buttons are going to go as well. Um, make this a bit larger there we go right so that's the template done very simple all right so the size is fine all you got to do is file and save as and you go into your folder now this remembers the last place i worked on so this remembers the last time i created a video um it remembers the folder so it's very important that you find the folder that you uh created for the exam uh first before you continue so i'm going to go in here and find my folder so that yours will look slightly different from this one here we go and assets web pages i'm going to call this templates press ok okay and that's as simple as that so i'm going to stop the video here and we'll talk about the next step in the next video